Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. In today's video, I'm hoping to give you some motivation and inspiration to refresh one small corner of your home. I'm going to be decluttering, cleaning, and organizing my office space, which is also our kitchen pantry. The pantry side of things isn't perfect, but that's not my focus for today. And besides, it's doing pretty well. It's more stocked than usual because of the pandemic situation and not being able to go to the grocery store frequently, so there's more stocking up going on here. And my goal today is just to narrow my focus just to my office area in this space. On this bookshelf above my desk, I keep cookbooks, Bible study materials, planner supplies, and notebooks that I use for YouTube. And on the top shelf, I have my purse and a collection of baskets, some of which are filled, and a couple of boxes of office supplies. My desk is fairly organized. It's just gotten a little cluttered lately. There's my planner. I've got some planner supplies out, my microphone for doing voiceovers, my laptop, mouse pad, all of the usual suspects, and just some paper clutter that I really need to tackle. I know this area doesn't look that bad, and it's not, but I know that it can be improved. When things aren't right or a little bit cluttered and just not as good as they could be, it does affect my creativity and my productivity, and I bet that's true for you too. This small little project isn't going to be a Pinterest-worthy transformation of any kind, but it is going to make a really big difference in how this space feels, and I hope that after you watch this today, you will be encouraged to do something similar in your home. Basically, this is just zone cleaning with a heavy emphasis on decluttering. Decluttering is always the first thing on my checklist when I'm zone cleaning, and once that's finished, I can begin the cleaning portion. So I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. I'm just using one of my microfiber cloths from eCloth to wipe down the shelf, and then I'm going to remove these marks on the wall with a magic eraser. I love magic erasers, and this may be weird, but when I remove marks like this, I am tempted to go around my house with a magic eraser, but I'm gonna resist that and stay focused here on my office. These are all of the things from the top shelf. I have quite a few baskets, but I actually do use them regularly, so I'm probably not going to get rid of those, and I'm definitely not going to get rid of this coffee grinder. I love it. This belonged to Patrick's grandparents, and they actually used it every day to grind their coffee. So do you guys remember Longa Burger Baskets? I still love them and I have this recipe box which is stuffed full of recipes and of course most of these I don't even use. So I want to declutter that, but not today. I'm gonna save that for another time. And then just figure out maybe where I can store some of the baskets that I love a little bit more out of sight and so that this area doesn't look so cluttered. These are boxes that I have used to store office supplies. They are really well organized and when I need them, I can pull them down. So I'd like to keep them up on the shelf where I can reach them. This basket is filled with appliance manuals and more Bible study materials. I haven't pulled down this basket in a long time, so I know that I can declutter most of it. I've been using this basket to store some equipment that I use for making my YouTube videos and it's really not convenient having it up on the high shelf. I'd like to find some space in a drawer where everything can be a little bit more accessible. This pile of paper I decluttered the day before from our household binder. Our household binder is where I keep all of our bills and any paperwork pertaining to our home. And so I pulled out everything that was over a year old and really lightened that up. That one small job was so satisfying that it actually gave me the momentum and became the catalyst for me starting this project today. And with that idea in mind, I'm going to start with the easiest things first. I just have a little bit of equipment in this basket that I use for my videos and I've already decided that I want to move it to a drawer, so I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. 
first job is done, it just took a couple of minutes, and the satisfaction definitely outweighed the effort that was needed to make it happen. And that's what I mean by momentum. So even if I did nothing else, I got one thing accomplished and I can feel good about it, but because it's so satisfying, I want to do more. Moving on to paper clutter, I'm going to start with this pile that I pulled out of our household binder. Because some of them have our address and account information, I'm going to put them in a bag to be shred later. It will stay in the corner and if I come across any other sensitive papers, I will put them in the bag. Otherwise, they will go in the trash or recycle bin. Then I just start powering through this basket and I'm trying to be as ruthless as possible. I've held on to a lot of appliance manuals even though I know that I can get them online and now it's time to part with them and free up this space. Speaking of free space, I have some at the top of this cabinet and so I'm going to put some of the smaller baskets up there. They look really cluttered when they're out on the shelf and that way when I want to get them down they'll still be accessible but they'll be in a place that will keep them dust free and won't add to the visual clutter of my office. Remember Beanie Babies? <laughs> this was the Lady Die commemorative bear. My mom got it for me when they lived in London. They lived there at the time that she died, and I still love it, but I wanna put it in a glass cabinet where it can stay dust free. On to books. This one was a hard one for me. I did a pretty good job of being ruthless with my cookbooks, but not so much with my Bible study materials. And now that they've been sitting here for over a year, I realize that there are some that I don't ever reference and I probably really won't. So I'm going to take those out and pass them along and clear up a little bit of space here. I also wanna come up with a little bit better of an organization system, I guess, grouping things together. I have that now, but I think I can do better, so I'm gonna work on that a little too. say it gets worse before it gets better. I'm at that point right now where everything out here on the counter kind of stresses me out, but I'm going to keep on powering through. coming across things you haven't seen in a while, like this book of helpful hints that used to be my grandmother's. It actually has some really interesting information in there. And then look at these books that I had bought, I guess when the boys were younger. Why they are grouped in here in my office, I'm not sure, but they were kind of funny and I showed them to the boys and we had a good laugh. And then I came across this greeting card organizer, which I definitely should be using. It has a section for each month with a pocket for storing the cards and a place to keep track of all of the birthdays and special occasions in your family. And if you're interested, I put one in my Amazon store, so you can find the link for that in the description box. to return things to the top shelf in a little bit different order. These boxes were over in the corner and really hard to access. They have all of the office supplies and though I don't need to get them down often, this will be a lot more convenient. And then I'm going to nest some of the baskets inside of each other and try to arrange them in a little bit more of a aesthetically pleasing way up here. magnetic 
whiteboard that I have in the corner has been accumulating things for a while. It's gotten really cluttered and it's to the point where I don't even pay attention to the things I have up there. So I decided to clear it off, freshen it up a bit and make room for new things. This is my meal planning and recipe binder. And as you can see, it's really full. I am returning some recipes that I had out on the counter, but it needs a good decluttering as well. So that along with a little recipe box are going to be on my list of things to get done soon. This is my last area of paper clutter. This little organizer has a lot of things in it. I keep coupons and these folders have information that I access quite often. I have some extra envelopes and places where I keep receipts here. So there's a lot going on in this area and if I don't clean it out regularly, it really can get cluttered up. So now I'm going to make a lot of space in here and be ruthless in getting rid of things. I think I did a pretty good job of decluttering, especially with the papers. I filled up this bag of things that we need to shred, and I also put quite a lot in the recycle and trash can as well. Now I'm going to clean the surfaces. And one thing that I would have loved to have been able to do was to move my sewing machine. That's what's behind the printer there, but it's the most convenient place for it at this time. And because I don't have a better location, it's going to stay, but I'm going to think about the possibilities. And on my next round of decluttering, maybe I will have come up with something. extremely dramatic but I am very satisfied and happy with the way things turned out. I definitely improved the function of the bookshelf by grouping all of my planning items, my YouTube notebooks, my cookbooks, and my Bible study materials together in the same area and I think it also really improved the overall look of the bookshelf. My desk and letter organizer here is going to function a lot better now that the clutter's cleared out. And I think that I'm going to paint this white sometime really soon. I think it would look a lot nicer on my desk. Under my desk, I added a command hook where I can hang an umbrella and my tote bag so that it can be out of the way. And I think I'm going to add an extra one for my purse. There you have it. I found it to be the perfect project to tackle in an afternoon, and I hope it inspired you to do the same in a little corner of your home. And if it's true what they say about a desk being a reflection of a person's mind, then mine still has some things going on, but it's a lot more organized now. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe. We would love to have you join our Faith and Flower community. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really enjoyed spending some time with you, and I hope to see you in the comments and in the next video. Have a wonderful week.